everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Alicia and this is Aria. And we are hanging out today. So baby girl had off for school, so we for went- For four days. Yeah, well, we were off for four days. We took we took four days. Um, well, I took four. Well, I didn't take took four days. I took today off because yesterday we were off for President's Day and today her school was closed, so we're just hanging out. So we went, we just got our hair done, right? Like, I was <laughs> we just got our hair done and we went to the Dollar Tree and we came home and had lunch and so now I thought it would be a good time to do our intro and outro video for and I'm not going to show you the cup I'll show you in the end so guys do you remember when I did this cup with the alcohol ink and the saran wrap so I did it again and I came out with, uh, oh, I did it differently this time. So this had a glitter base. The next one I show you does not have a glitter base. So I wanna show you the difference between the two cups and the shimmer effect that you get when you use the glitter underneath. So I did pretty much the same, I did all the same colors. I just didn't add the glitter. So if you're interested to see, uh, not yet, <laughs> if you're interested to see, what I came up with, don't forget to hit that like button. Also, before I get started, do what? Like and subscribe. Subscribe, and let's go ahead and get started. So I prepped my cup the way I always do. I sanded it, wiped it with 91% alcohol, and spray painted it matte white. So now I am going to do this cup exactly how I did the other cup. I am I put my saran wrap down, and I measured and made sure that it was big enough this time because if you remember in the last video, it wasn't long enough and I had to add it. And I don't want to do that again uh, because it can make it uneven. So I uh, just went in with my gold. Remember, I don't like to go in with too much gold because it can overtake it. And I am going in with my lighter green. Now I am doing a little bit different this time. So the last time I was squeezing dots, this time I am squeezing dots and shaking it on at the at, like the same time because it's giving it like um, more like little dots, if you will. So it, it's up to you. There's no right or wrong with this. Just get your colors on there as you like them. And, you know, when you're done with that, then you're going to go ahead and wrap your cup as like I did in my last video. Oh, and I want to give my brother credit for this music because he created this and is allowing me to use it. And I absolutely love it. So I'm linking his YouTube channel below. Make sure you check it out and subscribe. Give him a big old thumbs up. So I'm showing you, my gloves are too big, so every time I try to like put the cap onto the alcohol ink container, it like catches my my thumb and it like sticks there. It's just like this silly mishap thingies that I do. All right, so I'm wrapping my cup now and I am doing exactly what I did before. I'm gonna wrap and press it and crease it. The crease is, you know, what makes those cool lines in there. So I'm just, you know, smushing it around. Again, no rhyme or reason. Just making sure that I see those lines because I know that's how it's going to dry. And I pulled it back because I, there was... So I added, like, I had to add a spot because it was really, really blank. And so I pulled it all the way back which didn't hurt it at all because at the in the end I saw I absolutely love the way this cup came out maybe even more than the other one and I you know and I don't want to they do they both look different so one's giving me you know this one gives me a tropical feel where the other one gave me more of like a St. Patrick's feel so again I added some on the bottom here and smushed that saran wrap down and let it dry overnight so i didn't let this one dry as long as i did the last one so what i did was i left it pretty much overnight so for like 10 or 12 hours i let it dry so here we are the next day the next morning and i was afraid i thought that when i was unwrapping it that it was damp and it really wasn't maybe like a little bit damp but not so much like i did hear that pulling uh off of the cup and so I wanted to make sure that it was nice and dry. See, like it looks really cool. I love the way that, like it shimmers from the gold. 
So like kind of, you know, it's shimmery because of the gold and not because of the glitter. So I still got a shimmer out of it. All right. So I let that dry for about 10 hours and then I did not seal it with anything and I came in with my epoxy. I'm putting 20 mLs. I'm giving it a nice good coat of epoxy. I am using a quick set. So within two hours, it's going to be dry to the touch within four hours. It's sandable. And so I'm just going to give it nice uh, even coverage like I do, you know, with all of my cups, get it nice and smooth. I do put my epoxy on with a gloved hand because I can feel the dry spots. I can't feel it when I'm using a silicone brush, but it's up to you, whatever you want to use. Some people are not even comfortable uh, putting on epoxy with a gloved hand. I am. I don't have any allergies to it, thankfully. And I got a hair. Oh my God, there was a hair in there. So a big, long hair. So I had to pull that out and then smooth that down. Just make sure you remember too when you're epoxying your cups not to overwork it too much because it can create more bubbles. And I'm just using a kitchen torch to pop all those bubbles. And while that's turning, I'm going to go ahead and show you uh, how I designed this flower. So I got it from Creative Fabrica. The flower I chose was part of this bundle. So I went, I went ahead and downloaded the entire bundle and got a bunch of beautiful hibiscus flowers from this bundle. I would love to, um, I, I want to use more of these for summer cups because I just love tropical flowers, especially hibiscus. So I went ahead and I chose that flower for the colors, but I didn't like the stem. So what I did uh, was I brought it into my design space and I basically redesigned the stem by cutting the stem, like I sliced the stem off so I created a box and I sliced the stem and I'm not going to show you. I'm just kind of walking you through how I did it. So I sliced that off and then uh, with that piece, I went and I there was like that little stem right there that I trimmed down to and then I copied the leaf that I had cut out and I start I started duplicating it and making additional leaves and then slicing it and that's how I designed the stem. So uh, because I'm printing this out on clear water slide, what I did was I went ahead and I duplicated it and then I put it to a cut file because I'm going to cut white vinyl to go behind it so that you see the image and not the cup. So that's my little trick or hack when you're using a clear water slide over a very busy image or a, I'm sorry, a very busy cup. You just cut, you just uh, copy the design, put it as a cut and then put whatever color background you want on it, basically, a solid color so that you can see the image and it's not distorted in any way. It's been four hours and my cup is dry, so I am gonna go ahead, I printed out my image and the, on the white vinyl, and I'm gonna place that on the cup. I have printed the image on the clear water slide and sealed it with two times Rust-Oleum's Matte Clear. So you can use whatever you want. You want matte or you want satin. It doesn't really matter because once you put the epoxy over, it's going to shine it up. But what does matter is this white vinyl. And I did use a glossy vinyl because you do want the surface underneath that clear water slide to be glossy or shiny. Because if it's not, it's going to dull it out. And I wanted it to be shiny behind it. So I printed it on Oracle 651 Gloss White which I picked up at Annie Up Graphic Supplies where I buy all my vinyls from. So, and I will link them in the description below as well, as, uh, as well as Creative Fabrica's designs and where to find that and my affiliate link with them. So I'm going to go ahead. I've got that. Um, I got the white vinyl on there and now I'm spray painting or spray painting. <laughs> spraying my water slide. I'm using Hippo brand water slide. I will have a discount code below for them as well. And I don't dunk the Hippo in water. You don't need to, or I found that I don't need to. Like with Hayes brand, I always have to like dunk it and soak it for a long time. Where the Hippo, I felt that I don't, I don't have to. It releases pretty quickly. Although this image is a little bit bigger and I did have a little bit trouble with it releasing the same way as it normally does. For some reason, there was like this dry spot and it just wouldn't soak the water up. So I wound up peeling the entire thing off. And I can do that because it's a bigger image. Also make sure that you spray whatever surface you're putting your water slide on with water. I forget that a lot. And if you don't, you can't move your image around. And most of the time, 
you know, especially if you're doing the, an image of, like I'm doing it over a white vinyl, you want it to match up exactly. So make sure that you don't forget to wet your surface that you're applying it to. So yeah, there you go. I pulled it off the paper. I didn't ruin it. It was totally okay. But then, you know, I, I overwork my, um, my water size all the time and I always wind up getting a rip or a tear or a little bubble or something. So I, you know, I can easily fix it. And I'm gonna show you how to fix too. There's a white spot in there. And I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna fix that too. So once I apply that, I'm gonna get all the water out, make sure I get all the bubbles out. And then I'm gonna let this dry for about a good hour or two. Again, dry times, I always say this in all my videos, dry times vary because people go, well, you said a half an hour and it took mine an hour. No, dry times always vary depending on your room temperature and how well you prepped it. And I'm sorry, my dog's back barking in the background. That's Frank. Yes, Frank. He's getting bigger now and his, his bark is getting deeper. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and finish patting this down and let this sit and then I'll be back for the next step. All right, my water slide is nice and dry now. And so now what I'm going to do to fix that stark white spot in between the leaves is I'm going to come in with, I tested out like a little bit of a darker spot or a darker, um, I have alcohol ink markers. And they, I didn't like it, it was a little too dark. So then I went and I switched to a lighter one to go in on that white spot. And that I liked much better. So it was, I, I don't know the effect I wanna say that it's giving, but it's taking that stark white out and maybe being like the back of a leaf or something. So I'm gonna let this alcohol ink dry for at least an hour or so. And then I'm gonna be ready to epoxy this cup. And so I am putting, about what am I using 20 mls yep I went in and with 20 mls again of my quick set epoxy because I know this is going to need one more coat after this so once this is dry after two hours it'll be dry to the touch and ready for a, another coat then I will be ready for my final remarks all right so on a rare occasion I have a spot on the cup on the water slide where it lifted so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and sand that down and I am going to um, just make sure that I do a very light sanding on it. So it was kind of a stubborn spot and I was being really, really gentle and ginger with it because it didn't want to sand too far down to the water side. Oh my God, my dog is so obnoxious right now. I don't even know what he sees out there. There's nothing. Uh, and so I uh, just go in and I'm just like lightly sanding in going in with the rougher side and then going in with the smoother side to get out any like rough scratches. So me being impatient, it wasn't going down quick enough for me. So now I grabbed the tools. So I got the Yule tool out and I'm very, very gently going and just kind of little by little grinding away that little bump in there. Again, making sure that it didn't get down. And then I go in and just use the fine grit side to get it nice and smooth and take out any like heavy scratches. And then I'm gonna put this back under for its final coat of epoxy. And I'm just gonna wipe this cup down with 91% alcohol and a coffee filter to reduce the amount of lint that's left behind and put my final coat of epoxy on. All right guys, this cup is done. So I had a feel for, this cup to me was more tropical than it was St. Patrick's Day. And here it is all finished. Look how beautiful that I is. I gave you a sneak peek. Uh, she did, she gave a sneak peek in the intro. She wasn't supposed to do that, silly girl. <laughs> but let me see. So I love the hibiscus on this. That's why I was in, that's why I showed I you how to fix a spot that was lifting. Thing. Right now it's nice and smooth, it's all good. That's so, why I was doing the sneaky thing. So see the difference? You could do saran wrap a hundred times and the cups are all going to come out different using the same color. So this one's actually much darker than this one, but it's also more shimmery underneath. I still have yet to figure out what I want to do to finish this cup. I am going to do something with this, I promise. But this definitely, definitely gave me a tropical vibe. So that's why I did the hibiscus. So that is it for this video, guys. Uh, thank Bye. you. Thank you all for watching. Again, make sure you hit that like button. Also, like and subscribe. Comment, share. I love to hear your feedback. Don't forget to check out, blah, check out my Facebook pages too. It's a craft thing and GMI Superstars. We have a lot of great creators in there that show off their work. And Mom. that's it. Mom.
Yes. Can you real quick show them that picture over there? I can take a picture of that picture and I'm going to post it when I do the video. Okay? Please. I could do that. Well, like you could take the phone off the line. I'm not going to take the phone off because then it's going to sh it's going to rattle them all up. We don't want to rattle them up. So say bye for the this one and we're going to move on to the next one. Bye. Bye for now. Bye.